Hi, I'm Carrie Finley at the Center for Health and Safety Culture. In this video, we're going to explore examples of specific interventions across the social ecology to grow seatbelt behaviors. Traffic safety culture strategies increase actions by stakeholders across the social environment to improve traffic safety culture among various groups. Imagine if all of the stakeholders across your social ecology promoted that everyone always wear a seatbelt. What would that feel like? What would be different? In the previous video, we talked about the social ecology and how the social ecology moves us from an individual frame to considering the specific actions we want to grow across the social ecology to improve traffic safety. Now, I want to apply the social ecological approach to a very specific behavior like seatbelt use and discuss examples of traffic safety culture strategies across the social ecology. These specific examples are just a few of the many interventions that we could implement to expand our efforts to increase seatbelt use across the social ecology. Let's start with families. From the survey data we collected, we found out that while many families in Utah had rules about always wearing a seatbelt, too many families did not. We also learned that adults with a family rule about always wearing a seatbelt were four times more likely to wear a seatbelt. Among families, we wanted to grow behaviors of discussing and establishing family rules about always wearing a seatbelt. To grow these behaviors, we created media messages to encourage families to develop family rules about always wearing a seatbelt. We even provided suggestions for what family rules could be. For example, wear a seatbelt at all times while driving or riding in a vehicle. Have all passengers in the vehicle you are driving wear a seatbelt. And have all passengers in a vehicle in which you are a passenger wear a seatbelt. Promoting family rules about traffic safety fosters safe beliefs and behaviors among family members. Here's an example of some media that we created to promote and grow family rules about always wearing a seatbelt. I am her daughter. I am his brother. I am her mom. I'm his coworker. I'm his friend. I am her husband. We are many things to many different people. When we wear a seatbelt, it's not just for us, it's for all of them. Let's be together for life and always wear a seatbelt. Promoting family rules about traffic safety fosters safe beliefs and behaviors among family members. Think about who are the key stakeholders to reach families. Schools can be viewed as another layer of the social ecology that can influence seatbelt use. Within schools, there are school dif district administrators and staff, teachers and students. And we can target specific actions for each of these groups. Our focus for school was to grow behaviors like taking initiative to clarify school district policies and norms about seatbelt use, to improve safety by establishing policies about always wearing a seatbelt and encouraging others to always wear a seatbelt. We provided specific tools and resources for school district staff, for students, and for parents to grow these behaviors. For example, we provided a tool to help school districts select targeted seatbelt programs for their students. And we created a tool to help schools make curricula decisions, including a health education guide for teacher-student communication about seatbelt use and driver education. We also created tools to help students to engage others to always wear a seatbelt. And we provided scripted weekly student reminder messages that schools could use to engage their students. We also know the importance of engaging parents about seatbelt use, and so we created a sample parent letter that schools could send out to engage parents, and we created a seatbelt fact sheet for parents. We also created sample statements that schools could use to help them start community conversations about seatbelt use. 
Workplaces are a really interesting opportunity to improve traffic safety. One example of a traffic safety culture strategy is to add traffic safety behaviors to annual workplace evaluations. Think about what would it be like if your workplace added traffic safety behaviors to your annual workplace evaluation? How many of you have traffic safety policies at work? How many of you have annual workplace performance evaluations? How do the evaluations address traffic safety performance? Think about who are the key stakeholders. Adding traffic safety behaviors to annual workplace evaluations is one example of a traffic safety culture strategy. Law enforcement is another layer of the social ecology that plays a critical role in improving traffic safety. A survey of law enforcement officers revealed that they have protective beliefs about seatbelt use. Most officers believe it is important to protect themselves by always wearing a seatbelt. Most officers believe they should always wear a seatbelt and they want people they care about to always wear a seatbelt. And most officers believe seatbelts enhance safety. However, we learned that many officers are not wearing their seatbelts even though they report their agencies and families have policies and rules about always wearing a seatbelt. Most officers, 66%, strongly or mostly agree that they wear a seatbelt because their agency requires them to. Most officers, 96%, reported their agency has a policy about always wearing a seatbelt. And most officers, 86%, reported their family has a rule about always wearing a seatbelt. However, too many officers, 28%, reported not wearing a seatbelt in the past week while on duty. Further, even though most law enforcement officers believed that local law enforcement should enforce Utah's seatbelt laws, they do not believe others feel the same way. For example, 74% of officers did not believe that most adults in their county felt this way, even though most adults in their communities do support seatbelt enforcement. We wanted to clarify norms about seatbelt use and enforcement, so we created tools that law enforcement leaders could use to engage their officers to clarify existing norms about seatbelts and reveal gaps between values, beliefs, and behaviors to motivate action to change. Finally, there are a variety of key leaders throughout your community and key leaders can also be an important group to influence seatbelt use. Engaging them in efforts to increase seatbelt use is another opportunity. Here's an example of a radio ad that was created to promote creating and implementing policies about seatbelt use. Local leaders recorded these ads and they were then placed on local radio stations. In this way, the messages came from community members, not from outside agencies or state leaders. I am Chad Jensen and I am proud to be your sheriff. After work, I love coming home to my family. On weekends, we have a lot going on, but our car doesn't move until everyone has their seatbelt on. Like 79% of families in Cache County, we have a family rule about always wearing a seatbelt. Please join me and make it a family rule to always buckle up. Let's be together for life and always wear a seatbelt. To learn more, please visit togetherforlifeutah.org. The social ecology transforms our approach to address traffic safety. It moves us from an individual frame that is focused on getting individuals to wear a seatbelt to considering the specific actions we want to grow across the social ecology to influence seatbelt use. Traffic safety culture strategies are those that increase actions by stakeholders across the social environment to improve traffic safety culture among various groups. These specific examples in this video are just a few of the many interventions that we could implement to expand our efforts to increase seatbelt use across the social ecology.